80%, 70% native plants. So these are all native. And if they're not native, then they are uh, frota friendly. And then we have zero grass. So it's all um, zero, zero escaped um, or artificial turf. It's a fifth of an acre overall. Um, and it took two, three years to get that all put together. And it's a working yard, so it's veggie garden and a dog and three kids. When we bought the house, there was not one lizard here. There was just dirt and grass and stuff like that. So I wanted to do my part to support the biodiversity and these, these plants and uh, butterflies and all these insects. And now we have so many animals you can count here. And the we want the kids to experience that as well. If you imagine everybody would have a little native section uh, and uh, less lawn, uh, but we'd save in water and pesticides and support wildlife in the city. Um, Tampa is already an extremely green city with a canopy. If you add a lower story under it, it's incredible the amount of life you see in your garden and share that. I had a wish list and on that list was um, a concrete driveway, a paver driveway, a patio walkways, a picket fence and an arbor and I've been able to do it in phases. Eliminate lawn as much as possible because that is your biggest user of water. So with my garden, I did have an irrigation system initially to establish the new plants, but after a while it wasn't really even needed. The plants grew up and blocked the irrigation, so I haven't used the irrigation in over 10 years and I only hand water. Using a thick layer of mulch is really important to conserve water in your landscape and it also keeps weeds from growing and just gives a nice finished look. Go to garden centers and explore. And if you have a neighbor who you see has a nice garden, make friends with them because they'll always give you some plants from their garden.